Okay, so here's what I would do to make a copy of the jam templates. So you can't truly make a copy of the entire folder, at least not to my knowledge. Um, so here's what I would do. I would basically put it in your drive, so you have a shortcut, and then you can make copies of the individual. So here's what I mean. Um, so if you were to click on the link, it'll take you to the entire um, jam folder of Jamboard templates, which is really nice, actually. I can't wait to explore some of these. Um, but the first thing I would do personally is just so I kind of have it in my own drive is I'd hit add shortcut to drive. And then I'd pick wherever I want that. So I might put that in my miscellaneous resources and add a shortcut. Um, so that's the first thing I would do is just so I kind of always have this. You don't necessarily have to do this. You could always go back to this Facebook link or bookmark it if you want, but I would probably put it in my own drive so I have access to it. Um, but then from there, if you actually want to copy, you have to do it individually. So the four corners, potentially, let's just say you really like the four corners, which is something I really like. Um, you just go up to these three little dots and then hit make a copy. And then it'll just be me miss copy four corners or whatever you want to do, of course. And then you'll have it in your drive. Then it's your copy. And then from there, you can assign it on classroom and view only, edit, copy for every kid, that kind of thing. So it should now um, be something I can edit it. And then this copy should be smack on my drive. Whoop, there it is. All right, so that's what I would do to get these templates. And again, thank you for sharing this. This is super awesome.